Hey guys, I'm Metalfish TV, and I've got you another album review. Uh, just some quick announcements. When I said in the best of teenage dirtbags that I'm going to change up my schedule, I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. Like, make an exact schedule. I think I'm just going to stick with the album reviews for now. When that series will eventually be done, I'll do something else. Also, uh, another thing I'd like to add is that... Um, I had to have another holiday, and all I'm saying is, it's because I've been doing album reviews practically daily. I mean, I've got a bit of a holiday now, in a way, so I thought, oh, mate, it doesn't matter, I'm going to have a few more days off. Anyway, right, with that stuff out of the way, I, I said something about an album review now, didn't I? And now I bring you none other than... Yeah, quite shockingly, Coldplay Parachutes. Uh, it's Coldplay's um, debut album. I mean, yeah, probably... I know, oops. I know what you guys are thinking. I'm reviewing Coldplay Parachutes. Uh, and I've reviewed, like, Slipknot's 1999 album and stuff. Um... Oh, wait, right, right. I know I'm going to go into the album review. I'm sorry, but I forgot one more thing. Um... Practically, I guess, when this video is uploaded, uh, well, after the album review, I've got a little surprise for you. So, you know, yeah, anyway, I'll go be announcing something. Um, anyway, you know, you have your spinning yellow and orange globe, I don't know why it is. Uh, it's... Uh, oh, I never noticed that there was some other stuff behind the globe. Anyway, um, yeah. Right, it says here, Coldplay Parachutes. Uh, um, and it says there on the side as well. Why don't we look at this song list? We have Don't, don't Panic, Shiver, Spies, Sparks, Yellow, Trouble, Parachutes, self, you know, the self titled track, High Speed, Never Change, Everything's Not Lost. Not much songs, only ten songs. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Copyright stuff, no one cares about it, it's 2020. Uh, I don't think it's on there, but... Hold on. When I, when I bought this... Yeah, replay CD, who cares? That, that actually doesn't come on there. Yeah, when I actually bought this album... When I first looked at it, uh, there was something quite unique about it. And I don't know what, but... Um, oh, this definitely isn't a shameless plug and unintended. Music, my party. There it is. Yeah, who really cares? Uh, that was not needed. Uh, you know, they're not sponsoring. They're not sponsoring anyway. Back to the album review. Uh, Coldplay Parachutes. Bland as hell uh, um, album cover, but what are you gonna expect from him? That was a little mean. That was a little mean, but anyway. And yet again, the blandness continues. Yeah, no, no, no cover up, like you've seen with some other albums. Hey, a disc, a disc can still look like nice even if it's really bland. Or like, they could have done something. Anywho. Uh, oh, yes, this is a booklet. Yep, we're looking at, we're at the part of the show where we look at the booklet. And yes, Jesus Christ, it's a booklet, thank God. Here you have your track list uh, by all the band members. I only know Chris Martin. I only know Chris Martin, you know, I'm not that much of a Coldplay fan. But yeah, I only know Chris Martin, uh, you have them staring at the ocean, wish I was there, I love going to the seaside. Um, very, very, very short booklet, very short. Coldplay, yeah, just have a lot of stuff. Oh yes, yes! I think I remember. 
I remember. Uh, it says this album is for Sarah Champion. I have no idea who that is, so I'm gonna go Google it up, please. Just a quick word of advice, this isn't a shameless plug, but please go use Google instead of Bing, and Bing is rubbish. Oh, just a quick heads up, when I looked this up, uh, I looked up Sarah Champion, and Sarah Champion is an archaeologist that unfortunately died with cancer in 2000. So, no, I can I can understand why this was dedicated to Sarah Champion. You know, fair play to Coldplay. Right, the more you know. I just had to look that up for you. Um, but yeah, a really tragic loss. But hey, Coldplay did this as a tribute. So the more you know. Uh, anyway, that's. Let's see the data on the disc. Like, yeah, there you have it. Ten songs, 41 minutes and 50 seconds. Not a very long album. Not a very long album. Not much songs, only ten. But hey, an album can have not much songs and still be very good. Alrighty, I've got to make this brief because I've got dying battery, but my opinion on this album, it's fairly good. I mean, it's not excellent, if I have to be honest. It's not excellent, but hey, I'm just going to say up damn straight, I'm not too much of a Coldplay fan. Yeah, I just had to save my battery anyway. Um, yeah, I'm not too much of a Coldplay fan. Um, don't, I haven't listened to much of that stuff, but I've listened to, I listened to this album before, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't like them much, but I think this is a fairly decent album, but this is their best. This is probably their best album, but, you know, but like I said, not much of a Coldplay fan, but probably their best album. Uh, is it worth a buy? Depends. Depends on what kind of music you like, to be honest. It really does depend. Any anyways, that was it for this video. Uh, and I will see you in the next one. Ah, but wait! Didn't I say there was going to be, um... Something special happening. Mm, something special. Let's stumble. Anyway, I get sidetracked so much. Uh, yeah. Um, I will be um, doing my entire goddamn CD collection. Uh-huh. My CD collection. That's a lot. I mean, a lot to go over. I mean, a hell lot to go over. About 50 plus albums, I'd say. 50 plus around, not including double disc, about 50 plus. And I've only got like about 25 episodes, I've only reviewed half of my album, so yeah, I will be reviewing every single album, and the ones that have not been reviewed will be reviewed over time. Right, with that out of the way, I'm actually going to sign off the video. Bye.